Hey guys, it's Chris. Science has come a long way, and for decades, scientists have been working with animals' genes to give them characteristics that might be helpful for us in the future. From mixing spiders with goats to cloning our beloved pets, join me as I show you nine genetically modified creatures. Number nine, see-through goldfish. In regard to fish, there are many different types and kinds, and each with their own little quirks. But there are only a few fish you can truly see through via natural selection. However, none of them are a species of goldfish. That is, until scientists in Japan got the idea to try and make a goldfish see-through which they succeeded in doing. The see-through goldfish were made in the Mai and Nagoya universities in Japan. And before you ask, yes, you can actually see through their skin and look at their insides. Furthermore, it's not just one part of their body you can see through. You can truly see through all of them from top to bottom. You can see a live heart and other organs because the scales and skin have no pigments," said Yataka Tamro, an associate professor in the Department of Life Science at my university. You don't have to cut it open. You can see a tiny brain above the goldfish's black eyes. But what is the point of such a fish? Due to them being perfectly see-through, it actually eliminates the need for dissection, which is why this idea was proposed by an animal rights group. The universities also see this as a viable pet option and hope to make this goldfish available in public pet stores. The dissection request is very understandable, and if approved, can be used in schools and universities all over the world. Number 8. Enviropigs on the surface, pigs don't seem like something that would be altered for a positive purpose. But you're thinking about them in the wrong way, especially since they have a potentially dangerous chemical inside of them, known as phosphorus. Pigs naturally create this as they digest food, and when they relieve themselves, they release it into the world. If you calculate all the pigs that are on the planet, that leads to a lot of phosphorus being put out into the atmosphere, as well as other places. Phosphorus from animal manure is a nutrient for plants that becomes a pollutant if there's too much of it for the crops to absorb, and the excess runs off into streams and lakes. So scientists got to work on trying to fix this. And so came the Enviropigs. They were able to make it so these pigs would absorb the phosphorus that was being produced in their bodies. And because it remained in their bodies, it wasn't being put into the world itself via their natural processes. It can go beyond that too. If they can do this to pigs, they could do it to other animals who emit other gases like methane. Only time will tell if this happens though. Number 7. Glowfish The glowfish weren't created by accident. Rather, they were created with a purpose that backfired on its intention. Scientists wanted to make a fish that glowed certain colors, species-wise. So they did this to zebrafish via experiments with a fluorescent protein that was taken from a jellyfish, and it allowed them to glow. And so, glowfish were born. Just as planned, they did indeed glow many colors. The intent was to make it so that it would change colors based on the toxins that were in the water around it, which could help in identifying the more dangerous waters of the world, as well as helping point out pollution in the areas that the fish swam in. But that's not exactly how things turned out. They actually just capture light and glow through it. More problematic, though, was that they're very vulnerable in the waters of the world, as predators would easily see them and then eat them, which meant that their goal truly couldn't be served, because they wouldn't last long enough to do the various tests. Therefore, they're sold as pets, and you can get these glowfish in bright red, green, orange, yellow, blue, pink, purple, fluorescent colors, starfire red, cosmic blue, and galactic purple. Number 6. Cows and their milk if you're a mammal on this planet, you can produce milk naturally, as long as you're a female. Cows are renowned for their milk, and humanity raises them for their milk most times. However, in China, a group has modified a herd of 300 cow in order to get them to make milk that is more like mother's milk than regular bovine milk. The way they did this was via lysozyme, which they inserted into the cows, which they don't have high natural levels of. 
so that it would get into the milk. And what was the point of this? That would be that lysozyme is good for the human body and keeps young children healthier. There are a lot of studies that have shown that breastfed human babies are much healthier than ones that get formula. And one of the reasons seems to be that they have much better gut bacteria, which are better at protecting against things like diarrhea, noted one of the researchers on the project. If this project was to succeed, this modified milk would be mass produced and then given all over the world to many children in need who don't have mothers, or have mothers that aren't able to produce enough milk for their child. Though at this point, human trials have not been started. It's only been tested on baby goats. Number 5. Sudden Death Mosquitoes It's a known fact that mosquitoes are the animal that kills the most people in the world, as they're able to carry and transfer diseases from one person or animal to another. So it begs the question why scientists would want to create a new mosquito. The answer to this is that they're trying to limit mosquito breeding. This all started back in 2012. There was a disease that threatened half the human population called dengue fever, and mosquitoes were the cause of the spreading. So naturally, scientists wanted to ensure that 50% of the population didn't get wiped out. Through that desire, a group of British scientists were able to make the sudden death mosquito. These mosquitoes would go out into the world or cause pregnancies that would result in the birth of sterile mosquitoes, thus lessening the population. Simple, yet effective. To those who desire this genetically modified creature to be used to take out all mosquitoes on Earth, I would advise caution. While mosquitoes are annoying, they do serve a purpose in the wild. They're food for some creatures and help out in others. In Africa, if mosquitoes went away, their ecosystem would be severely hurt. So while it's good that these sudden death mosquitoes helped fend off a disease, don't expect them to wipe out all of their own kind. Number 4. GenPet GenPet is a human-animal hybrid that is meant to be a safe pet to have no matter what allergies you get. Now yes, this isn't a real pet, it was actually a hoax, but you can understand why people were a little up in arms about it when it was first revealed, especially when the producers of it explained how the GenPet survives within the packaging itself. While the gen pets hang on the store shelves, they're in a form of hibernation. Each gen pet package has a special nutrient feeding tube attached to it, supplying our specially formulated mix and keeping them healthy and asleep, says the website they're sold on. There is little doubt that eventually there will be fully genetically engineered pets, but at present, this isn't rational or even humane. Should something like the gen pet be offered in the real sense, there will no doubt be tons of backlash. Number 3. Aqua Advantage Salmon We've all heard of big fish, but when I show you the Super Salmon, also known as the Aqua Advantage Salmon, you're gonna change your vision of that phrase. This was a fish bred for two purposes. One, it was meant to be much larger than other salmon out there. And two, but arguably most importantly, it was bred to grow faster than natural salmon. But why would they want salmon to grow big and fast? Well, it's easy, so they can sell them faster and make more money. To be fair, these super salmon are carefully bred and watched. They want to make sure that not one single super salmon mixes with the natural population, for it could devastate the ecosystem if they do. Think about it, the super salmon would likely outdo the regular salmon, eating their food and beating them to breeding grounds and such and they'll have their populations drop as a result. What gets lost in this creature's purpose is that it took another fish to make it happen. Mainly, they took a protein from a species of fish known as the ocean pout and put it in the salmon in order to make it grow bigger and grow at a faster rate. This particular creature has been bred since 1989. Number 2. Spider Silk Goats this particular creature may seem like an odd fusion, but it's one that serves a much greater purpose. In this case, scientists put a spider's ability to make silk and put it into goats. You see, goats produce milk, but some scientists figured that spider DNA could be used to insert silk into the milk and thus produce spider silk in mass. But why do this at all? That's because spider silk has one of the highest tensile strength attributes in the world. 
tensile strength is the resistance of a material to breaking under pressure. And having a good tensile strength can be a benefit to bandages, bulletproof armor, and things that need to be able to resist an impact. So successful has this process been that BioSteel was born from this which is the official name for this particular kind of spider silk. It's 7 to 10 times as strong as steel, and can stretch for some time without breaking or losing its abilities. As for the rest of us, well, we might get clothing out of spider silk soon. As reported by CEN, Adidas, The North Face, and Patagonia are among the brands jostling to become the first to launch a mass market product made from synthetic spider silk. Adidas is racing to introduce a biodegradable running shoe made from this silk later this year. However, it's not as easy to make things out of it, so don't necessarily replace your tennis shoes just yet. German-based Am Silk is ahead of the pack when it comes to selling spider silk protein in non-fiber form. It's been selling its protein made with E. coli fermentation for cosmetics since 2014. The technology was developed by Thomas Schreibel, a professor of biomaterials at Bayreuth University. Amsilk sales are growing at more than 30% annually, so this is definitely the material of the future. Number 1. Dolly the Sheep If you want to talk about animals created by humans, we'll eventually have to bring up Dolly the Sheep. Dolly is a sheep and also a clone, and a successful one at that. Dolly was born from a single cell taken from a female sheep's mammary glands. This cell was then put into another female sheep, and Dolly was born through that, which actually bypassed the usual way an animal is conceived, with genetic material from both a male and a female parent. In this instance, it was done via nucleus transfer, which before Dolly was thought to be an impossible feat. This was all done by Ian Wilmot and his fellow scientists at the Roslyn Institute in Scotland. They were both praised and criticized for what they did, and to this day, the debate about cloning life is still had. So what happened to Dolly? Well, she lived to be 7 years old before dying of lung cancer in 2003, which is a little young, but it was the longest living clone in history, so 7 years isn't too bad. Oh, and if you're wondering if a clone could breed, well, Dolly had 6 lambs during her life. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these genetically modified creatures? Which of these was the most surprising to you? Do you know of any other that could have been on this list? Let me know below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on World List.